Indie Mogul. Your effects. It's about your effects that you send in, and then we show them to the, to the Indie Mogul audience. Well, got a couple cool ones this week. Uh, if you got about $35, you could probably use these for your films. First up is Chris Sparrow with a man-eating plant. Hey, my name's Chris. Welcome to Backyard FX. Today we're going to be making a man-eating plant. To build this plant, you'll need vinyl and latex tubing, elastic cord or rubber bands, thin picture hanging cable, a bunch of eye screws, small nuts and bolts that will fit through the hole of the eye screws, a dowel, pipe insulation, liquid latex, black, white, red, yellow, and various shades of green acrylic paint, some fake leaves, which I found on these tulips, and fake lilies. You will also need some foam packing material and a small piece of scrap wood. And if you want to give your plant somewhere to live, you will need scrap plywood, a flower pot, and dirt moss or other ground cover. Cut your dowel into inch and a half sections. Drill holes into the end of each dowel and insert an eye screw. Next, cut your latex tubing into inch and a half sections. Slide a piece of tubing over one end of each dowel. Fold back the tubing and link the sections together with your nuts and bolts. Slide the tubing over this joint. Carefully drill holes near the end of each dowel, turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now screw more eye screws into the end of each of these holes. Next, run your cable through the eye screws. Use vinyl tubing at a joint to limit how far it can bend. To make the spine bend in an S shape, have the cable switch sides in the middle. Once you're satisfied with the movement, wrap the spine in the pipe insulation. Next, paint the stock green and set it aside to dry. To make the flower, first cut the flowers off the lilies. On the outside of each petal, staple the two sides together. Run a rubber band through the top of this ridge and leave it dangling inside. Next, remove the wires from the lily stems and use them to form a triangle that will act as a hinge for the petals. Bend the ends of the wires inward and temporarily tape these together. Cut out a wood triangle and drill holes in each point to fit the hinge wires and drill a hole in the center. Remove the tape and use some of the vinyl tubing in its place. Fit the hinge wires in the holes and put your mounting screw in the hole in the middle. Attach three eye screws on the underside and split the end of a short piece of cable into thirds, running each section through an eye screw and fastening it to each petal. This will form the mechanism that will allow you to open the flower. Form some thorns on the ends of each of the flower petals with liquid latex and tissue paper. Attach the rubber bands to the mounting screw with just enough tightness so that the petals will snap back into place. Using some foam packaging material or anything thin and pliable, cover the inside of the flower leaving the screw visible. With the flower wide open, attach this to the petals with liquid latex and tissue paper. Do the same thing on the outside of each petal to cover up the hinges. Once this is dried, paint is desired blending into the original colors of the petals. Attach the leaves to the corners of this flower. To better control your puppet, attach some dowels to the end of the control cables. To give the flower a home, cut a piece of plywood smaller than the mouth of the pot and cut a hole in the middle of it big enough for the stem. Mix up some grayish brown paint and paint it. Set this in the flower pot and insert your flower. Cover the plywood with your ground material. Bye everybody! And now, the random effects montage! with severed fingers. Hi, I'm Trevor Swanson and welcome to Backyard Effects, the show that shows you how to make big Hollywood effects for little money. Today, we're cutting off appendages. Liquid latex, latex-based green paint from our last build, stage blood, thick blood, modeling wax, and bruise-colored cream makeup. First, take your liquid latex and apply two even coats to your finger. Once the latex is dried, bring in your green paint. Using an old paintbrush, cover your finger in two to three coats. The fact that this paint is latex-based will help it adhere to your finger better and be more pliable. Now, grab your modeling wax. 
I used baby powder to keep the wax from sticking in my hand while I rolled a worm. Once your worm's complete, wrap and blend it with your finger. Next, use your cream makeup to blend it with your skin. Now with your finger, gently blend all the colors together. Cover the tip of your stub with some stage blood. Feel free to let it drip down the edges. Now bring in your thick blood. This will add a sense of realism and make your finger look like jagged, juicy, raw, ripped hamburger meat. In short, finger food. On shoot day, Start by filming your actor with a severed finger. Then, shoot a clean slate of just the background. Once you got this, edit it all together and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the show. Peace. Hey! Hey, Giles! Is that a severed finger in your soup? No, nothing? No? Huh. Well, that's it for this week's ER Effects. Just Keep sending them in to uh, the Indie Mogul Submit page at www.indiemogul.com slash submit. Well, see you at the end of next month. <laughs>